I'm currently playing Elden Ring with only a torch. Yes, only a torch, plus flasks. No talismans, armor, consumables, wondrous physic, spirit ashes or ashes of war, nothing. Just young Larry Lamplight and his trusty overgrown matchstick versus the world. Now that we've got that out of the way, if you've at all been following my torch only run, you might have seen that draconic tree sentinel gave me a lot of trouble. Uh, if you haven't, I have a full video on that fight on my channel you should totally check out. Anyway, that fight was difficult mostly due to Draconic Tree Sentinel's fire damage absorption. Larry's trusty torch unfortunately mostly deals fire damage, so bosses with high fire damage absorption take much less damage from our protagonist. I go a bit more in depth in the Tree Sentinel video if you want more details, but I'll leave it at that for now. To be totally honest, I really didn't think that any of the bosses without high fire damage absorption would give me a tough time. Oh god, how wrong I was. How horribly wrong I was. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, how the f Elden Ring's bosses are balanced around the fact that weapon scaling exists. What does this mean? Well, you may notice that as you upgrade your weapon, the little letter next to attribute scaling increases. This means that the weapon scales better with that stat. For example, let's say you have 40 strength and you have one weapon with an E strength scaling and a weapon with A strength scaling. Quite obviously, you'll deal a lot more damage with the A strength scaling weapon, as better scaling equates to more damage from that stat. The exact damage numbers are a bit fuzzy, but this is the general trend. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, if you have any high level weapons, take a look at the scaling. Do you have an S scaling weapon? Maybe mostly A's? Sometimes, a really good weapon for reasons other than just raw damage on hit will have something as low as a B scaling at max rank. With that knowledge, let's check back in on Larry's Pride and Joy O. Yeah, I almost have this flame stick maxed out, and its high scaling is C. Due to this horrendous utilization of my strength and dex points, I've opted to just drop most of my level up points into Vigor, so I can just live longer and get more practice on these fights sacrificing a minuscule damage increase due to the pathetic stat scaling on the torch. This wasn't as much of an issue early game since every weapon had bad scaling back then, but most normal weapons get way higher scaling numbers by this point in the game. These late game bosses are really going to show Larry how poor his weapon choice really is. Anyway, that nerd aside, let's talk about the fight. This footage is after I'd collected every single smithing stone available to me at this point in the game and maxed out on flask upgrades as much as I could. This was as strong as old Larry was going to get without rune farming, which is banned for this challenge. Oh yeah, I was taking Morgoth on at level 52. A quick google search will tell you that his recommended level is 80, but 52 was the level I was at fighting only the necessary fights, so that's what it had to be. My only saving grace was that this time I wasn't straight up getting one shot by multiple attacks, likely as a result of nearly all my level up points going into Vigor. Don't skip Vigor day, kids. Taking all of these factors into consideration, this was a grueling, several minute fight that I had to play incredibly well to win. By the time I beat him, I had his patterns down to a science. Let's take a look at this pattern that I was able to force Morgoth to do with careful positioning and timing. Holy shit. This was really the only big window I could get consistent damage in. Yeah, Larry had this sh choreographed as hell. If it's requested, I'll upload an uncut video of the victory fight if you guys want to see just how intense and calculated this fight end up being. After almost 100 attempts, I finally played well enough to fell the fell omen and continue on Larry's righteous journey to light the biggest lamp of all and take the throne. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I seriously, seriously appreciate it. My Draconic Tree Sentinel video did way better than I'd expected and it honestly really motivated me to make more good content. If you want to see more stuff like this, consider subscribing and check me out on Twitch. Leave a comment and a like or a dislike too, it really helps me improve my content. I have a bunch more cool video ideas planned for the future, so be on the lookout for that. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks guys, peace.